Today's video is incredibly special for me. Not just because I am sharing one of my favorite parts of architectural storytelling, the concept diagrams, but because we are celebrating a big milestone. We have crossed 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Hi, I'm Krutika and I started this YouTube channel just for sharing what I love. Sketching, designing and storytelling. You have been here with me learning, exploring and supporting and today I want to give it back. As a small thank you for being part of this journey, I have partnered with Rayon Design to host a giveaway where three lucky winners will get free access to Rayon Design. And here, how to participate. Like this video, comment on this video why you would like to use Rayon Design in your architectural workflow and make sure to subscribe both my and Rayon Design's YouTube channel. It's that simple and I'll be announcing the winners in my next video, so stay tuned. And now getting back to our today's topic, I'll walk you through how to create concept diagrams in Rayon Design. We will begin by exporting a simple 3D model from SketchUp and importing it into Rayon Design, where we will transform it into clean minimal diagrams that are perfect for designing presentation and portfolios. This process is super beginner friendly. So let's jump in and start designing. Here you can see that I have already created my conceptual diagram. The site is placed, the massing is done, and I have shown how the form evolved step by step. After that, I make sure to keep my view in isometric. One of the most important things while creating such diagrams is that to ensure that the view is in parallel projection. Just like this. Now I will zoom in, set the final view, go to the top menu bar and export it as a 2D graphic. I will save it as a PDF and click on export and just like that your file is ready. Next, I will open Rayon Design in my browser. At the top right corner, you will find import option. I will click that choose my exported PDF and upload it. Once the file is uploaded, advanced settings will appear. I will keep the format as vector and the canvases as single. Then click on import. Rayon will then ask you to scale your drawing. If you know the dimensions, you can simply select two points and input the measurements in feet or meters. I will start by creating a new page from the pages section on the left. I will set the orientation to portrait and adjust the scale from the right panel, keeping the sheet size A4. Now, I will go to the layers panel. On the left, create a new layer called guides and begin adding margin guidelines. From the bottom toolbar, you can choose the horizontal, vertical or angled guides. I will place two guides to help align my diagram within a neat grid. My plan is to place two diagrams at the top and two at the bottom to create a balanced composition. I always recommend using grid layout. It's reliable, look professional and helps in maintaining the clean alignment. Once my grids are set, I will scale and position the diagrams accordingly. If they appear too small, I will select and scale them to make a better use of the space. There's too much of negative space right now, so I will fix that. Now let's import a color palette and scale it near the diagram. Then I will create a new layer called background and drag it below all other layers. Using the rectangular tool from the bottom toolbar, I will create a shape covering full sheet. Add a light blue fill and remove the stroke. To add some textures, I will draw another rectangle on the top. Go to the right panel and apply concrete texture with reduced opacity, again removing the stroke. This gives a nice stubble textured background. If you want to add any additional graphics, like grids or hatching, you can use the hatch fill and choose from the styles like square grid. Adjust the scale and color to your liking. Once satisfied, I will lock the background layer. Now, let's start styling the diagram itself. I will go to the layer 
with the solid fills, select the children and detach the style so I can add color of my choice. I will increase the opacity of the fill to 100%. I will assume the sun is coming from one side. So I will select the right face of the surfaces of the masses and apply a lighter color from my color palette using the color picker. Then I will select the left facing sides and use a darker shade. For the top faces, I will use white to add contrast. Contrasting colors are essential. They help your diagrams pop and make them interesting. Next, I will create a new layer called annotation to add dotted lines that connect the diagrams. Using the line tool, I will draw four lines showing the deduction from the massing. I will select all lines Add dash line, increase the stroke scale to 200% and change the color to black. To highlight the deducted part, I will draw an arrow using the polyline tool. I will ensure it follows the isometric angle and adjust its properties. Solid stroke, dark orange color for both fill and stroke and the line weight of 10. I will position this arrow so it's clearly shown which part of the mass is being subtracted. You can also represent the added and subtracted volume using the plus and minus symbol and this makes your diagram look more intuitive and engaging. To make the composition more lively, I will create another layer named elements. I will go to the block library and bring in trees and human figures. The library is extensive, offering multiple views, plan, front and side. I will keep the color scheme monochromatic by matching trees color with the building and avoiding too many colors to maintain clarity. For the human figure, I will adjust both the stroke and the fill colors and place them strategically to bring life to the drawing. You can also add the elements like clouds, birds or the sun. Then I will create a text layer and use the text tool from the bottom toolbar to place my labels. From the right panel, I can change the font, size, height and color. I will label each diagram, site, mass, deduction and final form. If needed, I can also add short description under each. Text management in Rayon Design is very straightforward. Once everything is placed, I will move on to adding shadows. I will go back to SketchUp. If you want to learn SketchUp in detail, I have also added link in the description. I will export them as PNG or JPEG and return to Rayon. I will import the shadow image, reduce its opacity and scale it to fit over the diagram. I will create a shadow layer and trace over the shadows using the polyline to create closed loops and then apply a solid black fill with 20% opacity and no stroke. After tracing, I will delete the imported image, leaving behind the soft and custom shadows. As a bonus, I will experiment with different color palettes. I will duplicate the page using Ctrl C and Ctrl V, import a new color palette and apply it to the diagram. You will find more color palettes, link is in the description. I will use the picker to update the right and the left surfaces, adjust the element colors by detaching their styles and creating a fresh theme for example, swapping orange trees for pink ones. Finally, to export the diagram, I will go to the pages panel on the left, click on the three dots and choose to export as a PDF or PNG. Rename your file, pick your format and hit export. And that's a wrap for today's tutorial. I hope this gave you some clarity and inspiration to create architectural diagrams. And if you would like to enter the giveaway, here's a quick reminder. 
like this video comment down below why you would like to use rayon design and make sure to subscribe to both my and rayon designs youtube channel and i'll be announcing the winners in my next video so stay tuned until next time keep designing keep exploring and i will see you soon bye bye